Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome back to another episode of Talking About the Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, last time we discussed the deadly sin of gluttony. Today, we're actually going to be talking about, you know, in case you didn't read the title itself, greed. Now, a few terms, like I listed last time, I'm going to do the same thing this time, are avarice, selfishness, longing, piggishness, and covetousness. Now, a lot of people know what greed is already. I mean, come on. Literally, all you have to think of the you have to just think of the term greedy, and there you go. Now, when people think greed, a lot of the time they think money. Kind of like with gluttony from yesterday, you think food. Well, greed. It's out of desperation. That is like the one major difference between gluttony and greed. Outside of um, gluttony being restraint. That's like, if you're to narrow down the reasonings for these things, yesterday it's talked about, well, restraint problems. This time it has more to do with selfishness because of desperation. Now... A good example of this is every time somebody ends up gaining a certain amount of power after dealing with a long period of time of going through crap. Um, they'll take advantage of that power in a negative way and do it for the sake of that of which they've gained. That, in a sense, is greed. It also can be considered a couple other of these, but it the way I look at it, it's greed towards the power itself. In a job, if you're given a raise, and maybe at first you're looking at it and going, oh, I'm so grateful, but then you start seeing the pay and you're like, I've got more than they do. <laughs> Immediately, someone's mind who does that kind of thing more often than not, and not those who do it jokingly, I'm not pinning towards those kind of people because people, I, I, I mean, Amber and I talk about this stuff sometimes to each other only because outside of that, it's actually not allowed. But at least where we're from, it's it's frowned upon. Let's put it that way. But we'll talk about it and we'll jokingly say, "Ha." This is more than that. Or she'll jokingly say that to me. I mean, we laugh about it. It's not that big a deal to me regardless. But that is fine. That is not what I'm referring to. What I'm referring to is when someone does it seriously. When they'll approach another individual and go, you're below me because I make more. I mean, that's why it's not. you're not supposed to reveal how much you make outside of you know what I just said. Like, individuals like that. Regardless, um, this is kind of an idea of what greed is. I mean, a perfect example speaking of. Hi, Pink Fox. Which is why we, when we talk about it, we don't argue about it because we don't act yeah. like we're better than each other because one of us makes more than the other. Which is, I mean, it, it becomes kind of pointless anyway. I mean... I mean, there's a reason that it... I mean, longing, selfishness, and piggishness kind of go t in ties to that kind of thing for a reason. Either... This is how we look at it. Either way, it's coming to both of us. Yeah. I mean, again, there's I a... I mean, we basically share everything at this point. But again, greed on its own isn't just money-based. Um, it could be towards almost anything. Power, for example, like I mentioned at the beginning. There's a reason I mentioned power. Megalomaniacs. For those who don't know what that term means, it's literally its literal definition is someone with an obsessive desire for power. People don't get this unless they start getting greedy for the things they've already gained. But you can't get greed unless you've gained something and you look at it from a negative, desirable um, angle. Which is very interesting for me to think about now that I'm actually going it's going through my head. Keep in mind, guys, I never script this kind of stuff. Everything I'm saying, everything that we say on here, it's all just like... Right off the bat. 
If you guys heard Pink Fox, yeah. But if you didn't, yeah, right off the bat. It's just kind of goesy flow kind of thing. I'm looking, I have a list of all the sins, which I'm going to keep up until we've talked about all of them. Um, literally, the list itself um, from the website htae.net slash checklist slash seven deadly sins. If you guys want to check that out for yourself and then think about it on your own, just click the description below. I'll, I'll leave a description just for the sake of, you know, they kind of do still deserve the credibility for talking about it on their own. Regardless, um, the list on here says avarice, selfishness, longing, piggishness, and co covetousness. You could use that term. And no, not cove, not C-O-V-E-T, C-O-V-O-U-T. So don't get that mixed up. Um, there is quite the difference. Uh, but selfishness, that's like probably the best term to go off of greed. I mean, you start thinking of your own self, you subside everything else. That is like the perfect description of what greed is. It is kind of sad to see people go down that particular path, and it's sad how well known this sin actually is. Of all the seven deadly sins, this is probably one of the top three known ones. Alongside lust, which was the first one we talked about, and wrath, which will be discussed in a couple of videos. Those are probably the top three, from what I've experienced at least. Now, I will go ahead and share off one of my personal experiences outside of what was discussed earlier as far as finances go, because that didn't really count, of something that I've gone through in regards to the this particular deadly sin. Now, about a year and a half ago, I, well, a little over a year, not a year and a half, but a little over a year, um, I worked with a company that was a branch of the McDonald's franchise. I was never one of the kind of people who would, like, um, not take the customers into consideration. But the managers I worked under at least most of them. There were a couple exceptions. Um, the A couple of the employees I worked under, they didn't really care. Some of them were just there because, you know, they were there and they left. They didn't... They weren't greedy. But the others, they did it for their own self-gain. You could always tell which ones these were because they would hate on the customers. They wouldn't care for what the customers think. They'd say, take it and leave it, and then they'd, like, shoo them away. It was kind of pathetic, first of all, and second of all, it was one of those things where I felt so uncomfortable. That was one of the reasons why I left. Where I work now, the warehouse you guys have seen plenty of time on this channel, I worked. I started working there, first of all, because a close link of mine, who well, was not going to be named, gave me that opportunity, say, said, hey, we have an opening right now. I know you're struggling with this. I know you don't want to be a part of that anymore. Why not come do something that you enjoy more? I will be honest. At first, I actually did deny this multiple times. But eventually, I actually did. And I'm glad I did. Um, it was noticed that I didn't like the job at all that I was at at McDonald's. But you know what? It wasn't McDonald's itself. It was the branch, which again, I will not name. Because, I mean, everybody out there knows McDonald's already, is already notorious for this, which, quite frankly, I feel bad for the higher, the highest up on that front for that kind of thing, for the ones who actually do, you know, care. But the, comp the branching company itself is the problem. Um, the branching company was the perfect example of greed. Uh, they would say they'd take care of things and they would never show up. It's like a mate... Say... Say you live in a complex like where Pink Fox and I live now. You put in a work order and it's assigned to someone and then no one ever shows up. Ever. They say it's finished, but again, no one shows up. What's the point? I mean, that's just... So, that's There's the pure definition of selfishness and greed right there. I mean, they don't care. Now, these are actually... Just kind of a small idea of what I'm referring to when I talk about how this particular branching company it was. It probably, let's be frank, still is. Um, I don't know. 
having personally experienced that kind of thing, I think it's a good example of what greed is. But I'm going to leave that here. Um, if you guys have any add-ons, or if you agree with anything said here, or if you learned anything about this, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to make sure to try, if I do um, miss out on putting the link, I did at least want to give credit because I'm so bad at remembering this stuff. But knowing Pink Fox, she'll probably end up reminding me. <laughs> if not, well, once again, if you do want to check out the list I talked about, uh, it's htae.net slash checklist slash seven deadly sin slash six nine seven slash. Yeah, I don't know why so many slashes. I never understand that. Anyway, if I don't have it in the description, why not just uh, check that itself? That website out itself if you're interested in the list. However, I kind of read it off anyway, so it probably won't be. Anyway... Next time we'll be talking about Sloth, whether it's me, Aaron, or Pink Fox talking about it, we'll see. Um, if it's me, well, they'll still be involved anyway, because I, I kind of like involving my crew. <laughs> anyway, gonna head off. Thanks for tuning in for this episode of the Seven Devil talking about the Seven Deadly Sins, guys, and we hope to catch you guys in another video. Check out the links on the side, and the channel somewhere around here itself. See you guys later.